So, off to college we go. Dropping off our oldest child at Savannah College of Art and Design. Remember that high school graduation we just had? Yep, that's her. Now, on to college life at one of the most revered art schools around. So proud, she's following her dreams of making a career in art and not being forced into societal influence to take on a career in something you don't love or just for money. Life's too short to not do what you love every day. Good luck, my dear. I know you'll do great. So this is our life, the beach life. A couple of Minnesota natives turn rogue against the miserable winters. Tired of shoveling snow? Yeah, so were we. Now we're shoveling white sand out of our beach shorts. We've always had a thing for the sun and the sand. Now, life's given us an opportunity to explore it for a while. How long? Who knows? This is our life. So while we were there, we thought we'd check out Savannah's historic district by the river. And grab a bite to eat at a local crab house. So many great little, slightly touristy, shops to see along the brick laid street. Definitely come for a stroll down this street. It's really a great place to hang out. Heading back to Florida, we decided to stop off at one of the barrier islands along the coast. We've always wanted to check them out to see what they're like and Jekyll Island has been on the top of our list to explore. Despite its slight spookiness and namesake which coincides with that, when General James Oglethorpe established Georgia as a colony in 1733, he renamed the island in honor of his friend, Joseph Jekyll, who had contributed 600 pounds towards the founding of the colony. It was long used seasonally by the Guale and the Mokama, not sure if I'm saying that right, indigenous people of the region. When Europeans first reached the area, these people were killed or forced to leave by the English of the province of Carolina and their native allies, and by raids by French pirates. Plantations were developed on the island during the British colonial period. In 2018, Architectural Digest named Jekyll Island one of the 50 most beautiful small towns in America. There is a bit of brown, muddy murkiness in the water here from the backwash from the rivers on both sides of it that are contributed from the vehicle shipping port with these massive shipping containers coming in and out of them. You may have seen photos of the area last year when one of the vehicle container ships capsized while heading out to sea with a cargo of 4,200 vehicles on it. Along with the $62 million ship, $142 million worth of vehicle cargo was also lost. Still, a pretty cool, secluded, somewhat private, island to come check out. <laughs> 